Not everybody could afford a steam engine like Colonel Drake, but they could build a log structure like this and use a method developed by the Chinese 3,000 years ago to pound a hole in the ground. And if they were strong and lucky, they could make three feet a day and strike oil. After Drake's success, people flocked to this region and men built wooden structures called derricks. There were derricks up and down this valley and some wells actually flowed, meaning though there's so much gas pressure that the oil came up and flowed over the floor of the derrick. Others needed to be pumped. This derrick was built in 1920 with its steam engine and steam boiler. It was so tall because wells were getting deeper, deeper to go down to lower levels of sandstone to get gas or oil. The Drake well is set up for pumping, but there needs to be someone there to watch the boiler and the steam pressure going to the engine. Oil men quickly realized that they could use one engine and boiler to pump many wells if they had pump jacks on each individual well. Then with the development of the gas engine in the late 1890s, they again could pump many wells using one power and no humans. The owner of the Sanderson Cyclone drilling rig took it off of its original horse-drawn mount and put it on this 1927 GMC Big Brute. It didn't take long for the oil men to realize that putting your rig on a wagon and moving it through the woods is a lot easier than clearing the forest and having to build a derrick. So they made a mast, which is up top. These are the feet, and they go on the ground, and the pulley at the front goes up into the air, and there you've got a mast instead of a derrick. The gas engine towards the front of the truck is what powers the drilling operation again to pound a hole in the ground. This portable drilling rig was designed by Albert Slick Spence of nearby Pleasantville and John Hawley of Minneapolis. John Hawley was concerned about the lack of petroleum to fuel World War II. So they designed this rig to drill more wells called a yo-yo because the pulley in there went up and down moving the drill cable just like a yo-yo pulls on the string. Pennsylvania oil men soon found out that the oil is full of paraffin, so full that it actually clogs the rock and gathers and clogs the pipe itself. They developed things like this scratcher, which sort of worked. Then in 1867, Colonel E. A. L. Roberts patented the idea of using nitroglycerin in a tin torpedo with water on top to keep the force of the explosion down in the well, cracking the rock, vaporizing the paraffin, and allowing the oil to flow.